hi guys welcome back to my channel today is day two of the classroom setup we actually just got to the school my husband is pulling up now and he's gonna help me figure out some things i want to show you guys what we did last night since i didn't film it but i did get a lot a kind of a lot done so i will see you guys when we get in the classroom guys so this is an overview of what's going on I got my tables put like this so we have five tables like this my small group table is back there that easel won't be there and I might have to like figure something like push this out a little bit I got all the other stuff that was there yesterday I moved it this is just some storage that's my husband wave to the camera <laughs> this is the library area that I'm working on I do have two black crates that will go right there and we'll make cushions eventually one day and I did this last night when we were here I just put the labels and these are that those blue bins that I spray painted metallic kind of just setting up a little things just trying to figure out what I'm gonna do um th this rug will be this rug will be moved like over there like those crates will be on top of that rug and I got this going on for me. I'm about to figure out this situation. I got this is a I think a student computer and then this is my computer. And so these are all like decorations and stuff that's still boxed up. And I'm gonna figure out how I'm going to have this set up. But this is how it looks right here at the teacher table. I do have my small group table over there because that way I can have an overview of everything. That's what I really worked on was the flow of the classroom. So that was my biggest thing um, before I start decorating. I do have a job list up here. This was yesterday's agenda. Um, I only really got two things done and that was to set up the tables in the flow and then I glued my labels, which you just saw. And I still have to do the crates and the bulletin boards. So tonight I think I'm going to work on putting the bulletin board up here and over there so that way I can at least have something done. These are my questions that I have. I actually can cross this one out because they that question was answered about my rug. The number of tables kind of still question mark on that. But it's, I don't know, random data folders. Um, the stuff that's in those folders are going to get shredded and I'm going to keep the folders for just filing purposes and just may, may need to use them. These are some things that I still have to buy. I do need to buy more paper, um, shiplap paper to be uh, specific. And all these things I still need to buy. <laughs> to make, I still got to make the locker labels, the ascent wall, which is the bulletin paper, the name sign. Uh, don't really know what I, why I put that, but I, it'll come to me. And bench cushion, really don't need to do that because I plan on making this like a bench so that's the plan so let's get to making bulletin boards look at my help all right guys so I'm gonna use this black bulletin board paper and I have that stripe where is it at right here I'm gonna use this and hopefully it looks right I will be doing this back wall this back wall <laughs> I will be doing it with the white ship lap once I get it situated so But then I don't know if this will even work though for there. Let me see. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what you do that and you just need it. It won't bend all the way. That's what I'm saying. You don't need to tell you that. It's a staple over there. That one should do it. Ashley, you got them in like the wrong way. I got them in the wrong way. Yes. You got them in backwards. Oh. You see it? So we're going to try this paper instead. So we can only use one border since it's giving us a semi-hard time, but not really. 
I'm thinking that I'm not gonna do that wall with shiplap due to like money. It's gonna cost a lot more money to do that whole wall. So I might just wait until next year to do that. So we're just gonna stick with this wood, um, books and board paper, and then do the black and white. So yeah. While he's doing that over there, I'm going to organize this stuff over here in the boxes and set it up a little way better than what it is. So I got all this computer stuff and all this equipment, bookcase and stuff. I'm just going to figure out what and how I'm going to fix it, <laughs> make it better. And I got boxes and stuff that I need to go through. Look at this little doll I got from the thrift store, guys. It's called Raggedy Ann, and she'll be going over there. Uh-oh. What I decided I'm gonna do is I'm going to make this like a little teacher area gallery wall type thing to cover up that um, little spot and just to make it, you know, my little area. And this is the, bull the bulletin board my husband and I just finished. Well, he completed it all. He's working on the second one. So yes, I think it'll be really cute. I got this idea off Pinterest. I just thought the black and white was um, something that I wanted to do and then I like the woodsy farmhouse, you know, ship lap, whatever. And I'm going to do like maybe our agenda and stuff like that on there or our calendar. Not sure yet. We'll figure it out. We just really want to set up the basics today just to get something started. And that's what we're doing. So I have this little thing, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep it. Um, we walk by faith, not by sight, 2 Corinthians. I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep that. My little elf worked out perfectly to cover up that little hole. Obviously, I'm going to put some more stuff up here. He did finish up both bulletin boards. And this one is, looks good. I mean, it's the same thing. But these lights, I want them to go underneath the um, whiteboard. So I'm going to have to find another or buy another set of them i got them from the five dollar store so it shouldn't be a problem I'm going to get some more and what else we still gotta add like put up these um signs move this stuff and send my do this and then we will be leaving and starting fresh tomorrow problems with the wires and untangling and everything yeah so uh we'll check back in whenever we figure it out all right friends so we finally got everything situated this is how it's looking i wiped everything down as much as i could i gotta really get inside there and get everything situated so phone's working we're waiting on the computer to log like load up and stuff cut on the document camera, the printer, everything is situated. He is working on the student desk. I think this is the only student desk, the student's um, computer. This is the only one in the classroom. The rest of them will have like, we have like Chromebooks and stuff. This was a crazy area. It's still crazy, but it was way worse than this. We're gonna try to get some of uh, those, what are those things called, Kadera? Those um, wire things you can connect wires to. Like the little thing that's on the bread. You know what I'm talking about? The little mm -hmm. scrunchy things? Yeah. And like balled up the wire so that way it won't be so long. That's what we're working on right now. And once we do that, that'll be situated. My printer and everything. Because we just thought everything had to be put right here. At, with this little um, auxiliary port thing. So, cable thing. So, we're trying. To, he's trying to see if, if we need to move the bookshelves. Hopefully not. Cause this is the only kind of area I can put it in, like library-wise. And 
yeah so we're just trying not to have a lot of wires going everywhere and i'm so glad that he was here to help your girl out because i wouldn't i couldn't imagine doing all that messing with all that stuff without him help, helping me now these were random wires that was left or just over there we don't know what they're hooked up to so i'm just gonna put it put them in an area a certain area this stuff i cut it all off but it's all working that's good all the lights were working so that's not as scary anymore i'm going to add some things to my list of things and cross off some things because we got some things done today but look at that anybody can help me out with what you guys use or put for all of that those wires or figure out a way to hide that i don't know i may could i scoop my desk over but then i'll be blocking off this but am i gonna really use this little area like this much i could pull what do you think Kadir? i don't know that'd be wasting a part of the desk anyway so i can cross off a few things so tomorrow i plan on working in the library area this area right here i did put these the codable readers here just to sit them right there to see if i'm going to be using i got to see what the team lead say about those are we going to use those right i'm sure we're not going to use those right out the gate this is kindergarten this storage area over here it just feels like i have stuff in here that i haven't i don't know about like especially this little area and i don't want to just leave it in there and i don't look at it i'm sure they're gonna like i gotta do some trainings and all that and i'll be good now they gave us these books for the kids oh can't see that they gave us these books for the kids so i got all this stuff to sort and work out maybe only a couple boxes left out of the boxes i brought and like this area came along even though sorry <laughs> even though it's not really decorated it's it's functional i want it to be functional and then we'll get it all cute and stuff so. all right guys so i'm gonna give you a pan around to show you guys what we have accomplished <laughs> um and i will see you guys tomorrow we'll be working with the or working on like getting everything kind of cute and the library and stuff like that so today was really another one of those functional days trying to make sure everything is working properly while i have the help that i have and yes so my friend will be here with, with me tomorrow and you guys will see her and <laughs> she'll be helping me do all the cutesy stuff um, with the things I do have, I gotta do a lot of laminating and printing out tonight and with my Cricut. So my camera cut off, so what I was saying was I, I'm going to cut out um, some of the headers and stuff from off my Cricut, with my Cricut. Just stay tuned um, as it progress and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Um, first year teacher trying to get everything done and yeah. So I'm gonna give you a pan around and we will be done. I will see you guys tomorrow.